All right, we're with Evan White of the Oakville Aquatic Club. Uh, at welcome, first of all, welcome, Evan, and congratulations on all the success you've had. Thank you. And we'll get to, I have a large number of questions, uh, but first question, I guess, is uh, you just recently uh, um, verbally committed to Michigan. Uh, why Michigan? Why Michigan as opposed to anywhere else? Uh, well, I love the team, like coaches and staff. They're all really nice, and um, it's a great training environment. I saw one of the practices, and it looked like a lot of fun and good place to train and get better, push yourself. And it's a great school academically as well. And I just went on a recruiting trip the other weekend, and I could just picture myself there, so I you, thought it was a perfect fit. You seem like a guy that uh, academics is pretty important to you. Uh, what What is it at, at Michigan that you'll be studying, and, and what do you like about that program, do you think? Um, I'm not completely sure yet, but I'm leaning more towards kinesiology. Excellent. Any a coaching future possibly for you? Uh <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, along those lines, um, what is it about the uh, the Oakville Aquatic Club that keeps you there as opposed to anywhere else? I mean, you can't, you've come up through there. You came up with uh, Kathy Party as your original coach. Now you're with Sean Baker. Uh, what is it about the Oakville Aquatic Club that's keeping you there? Um, it's just a great club, great coaching staff. <laughs> so I'm pretty fortunate to have a good group of guys there that all are friends and competitive to push myself in practice and it's just good. Well, that's that's uh, that's a good point. Actually, you had uh, two of your two of your good friends and training friends that went off to uh, from the Oakville Quad Club that went off to Junior Worlds with you. Uh, Gamal Assad was there, and Brace uh, Quishan Delaney was with you as well. Uh, what did that mean uh, to have them with you on that trip and, and still be able to train with Brace on a regular basis? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I wasn't actually in their training groups at uh, in Barcelona, but yeah, it was still fun to have them there. It was good. Excellent. Well, a couple questions for you. One, uh, I noticed that uh, you are not active on social media. Is there a reason for that, or is that part of something you've come up with with Sean, or is that something a personal philosophy that you have? Or, um, not really sure. Uh, I just, I guess, I found all of it a little bit, I don't know, unnecessary. <laughs> I guess I'd rather spend my time doing other stuff, more constructive. I guess. <laughs> Well, uh, let's get back to, to Barcelona and to uh, Dubai for a second. Um, talk a little bit about the 200 IM. Uh, fantastic race, fifth place overall. I think you were going in second or third in the morning. Is that correct? Yeah, I was going in second after the morning. What was the turning point in that race? What was like the key leg of that race and the most important part of it for you that, that really got you down to that 2 double O mark? Um, well, compared to my race at uh, Summer Nationals, I think I was really working the, the front half. I think at Summer Nats, I took it out in a 26-2 and then 31.7 on the back, and then uh, in Dubai I took it out in a 25.8, and then 30.9. So I was really working the front half and trusting my back half. In terms of strategy, is that something you've been working on to try to take it out a little bit stronger and just try to last longer, or is that something that, that you do in training, or is that just a strategy that you came up with while you were away, or something that you developed through racing, or is that, uh, t talk us a little bit about that strategy. Uh, well, Sean and I have been working a lot of my backstroke and freestyle legs mostly throughout the year, but I just decided during the race that I don't know, take it out fast, try and try and be in the race. What kind of what kind of training is important to you uh, throughout the year? Like, uh, give me three maybe must-haves or, or things that'll make you feel comfortable during your training cycles. Uh, like three main aspects of your training that are really important to you. Um, hmm. Well, I think at Oakville we do a lot of a lot of kick throughout our practices. I think we do like at least a thousand kick every practice. So. That helps. Also, mm, <laughs> I think power sessions Tuesday morning and Friday morning have really helped me a lot as well. So power sessions in terms of dry land stuff or water stuff? <clears throat> yeah, water, water session, like power. Just like short burst. We do a lot of vertical kick, stuff like that. Okay. And I think that's really helped my speed aspect in the 200 IM. Anything else? Um, Not that I can think of really, but yeah, just... We just do a lot of good good work over there in Oakville. One last question, Evan. Uh, what's one thing that everyone can kind of look forward uh, to see from you this this uh, coming season, 2013-2014 season? I'm sure this is like your last your last season in high school, uh, your last season, last full season representing the, the Oakville Aquatic Club before you head out to Michigan. What's uh, what's the thing that everyone should be watching for this season? Um, I don't know. Well, I'll be training hard, I guess. Uh, hopefully, just some more big improvements. Very humble. <laughs> Very humble. Uh, uh, Evan White, ladies and gentlemen, from the Oakville Aquatic Club, thank you very much for joining us.